one of the challenges that you'll recognize as either a machine shop owner or maybe a, a production manager or an operator in a machine shop is that space is a premium. Now I'm here at AW Engineering in London. They've recently moved to this new facility, but before they were here, they were very, very tight for space, as Mark's going to explain. Mark, your previous factory was a lot smaller than this, wasn't it? Can it you was, tell us yeah. about it? Uh, so, yeah, my, um, the family business has been running for 100 years on the same site. Uh, and we, we were uh, originally uh, a cam also shop, and then eventually replaced with CNC after CNC. But layout wasn't right, much smaller, tighter, narrower shop. So a lot of my machine purchases were dictated about what would fit in, fit in the space over what would actually be the ideal machine for the job. So, well, uh, well, and that's exactly what happened here with this Nakamura uh, AS200. Now, you were tight for space. Yeah. So this was one of the only machines that could give you the capability in the footprint. Uh, yeah, 100%. So uh, this replaced a smaller capacity, a two-inch diameter machine, this, this being a two-and-a-half-inch, 65 mil machine. Um, we ideally would have liked a subspindle version on there, but I was about six inches too short on space, unfortunately, to get it in there. But in terms of giving us Y-axis mill turn capability, um, it fitted, it ticked most of the boxes, yeah. Uh, Japanese product, Nakamura, yeah. synonymous with precision and, and the creation of quality components. It's not just about the footprint, but it's about what it delivers as well. Has it been a success for you since you've had it? Yeah, so since we've had it, it's, it's, it's run most of the time. It's, it's, been a, it's been a good, reliable machine. It turns out a good product. Surface finishes are very good on it, which a lot of our components require very good aesthetic surface finish. Um, so yeah, it's worked really well for us in that way. And were you surprised at the price tag associated with these for, for it being a Nakamura? Because I know some other companies we've spoken to are actually quite surprised at you know, how competitive they are. Yeah, Nakamura, I'll be honest, uh, previous uh, uh, brand of machine that might, uh, I might have thought were out of our price range or out, out, would have pushed budgets a lot. But yeah, I'm very surprised at the competitive uh, price that this machine comes in at, yeah. And would you have bought this machine without a Y-axis? How important is it to you these days? You mentioned a sub-spindle, and yeah. I know you couldn't fit it in, but the Y-axis, that's as critical too, isn't it? It, it is, yeah. I think, uh, you know, we're, we aim to try and do everything one hit finished, and so, uh, when you can't do off-centre off holes and stuff like that. And it's also often the quickest way around a job rather than indexing and using polar and things like that. Uh, if you were in your place, or this place, when you purchase this, you would have gone for the subspindle, I assume. And if you go for another one, you will go for a subspindle. Yeah, yeah certainly the model of the business is to buy, buy machines that give us the ability to finish complete. So subspindle is an absolute must now on anything we buy. Good stuff. Thank you very much, Mark. Cheers. So there you have it. If you're tight for space, and I know Mark's not now, but you may be, but you're looking for the turning centre with the maximum capacity within a small footprint. Look at this, the AS200 from the Engineering Technology Group. This is the Nakamura premium quality turning centre.